Welcome to this webinar. Thank you for attending. I'm really happy to introduce this new presentation today about luxury travel in Vietnam. Just to give you a brief introduction about myself. So my name is Amy and as you can hear from my lovely accent, I'm French. Uh, I've been working with EXO for six years now. I went to uh, Laos first, then Myanmar and now Vietnam for a year and a half. I've uh, been Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh. So I would like to go through um, the concept of Lux by EXO and what uh, luxury travel means for EXO. And then I will uh, briefly bring you through some experiences, some EXO touches, uh, cruising options, high hand properties, dining options, and transportation. So the webinar will uh, last about 30-40 minutes. And if you have any questions, you can use the questions uh, section um, or ask your questions at the end of the webinar. So firstly, about EXO, uh, Lux by EXO. Um, we believe that Lux combines uh, impeccable services, innovative Ring and privilege access to people, uh, transportation and destinations with the authenticity that EXO is known for. We combine a team of specialist consultants. I will uh, I will go through it uh, quickly in a minute. Um, some dedicated operation services, uh, high end hotels and products, and we believe in the detail and sustainability too. Talking about Lux by EXO teams, uh, so we have Mev, our Lux director, who has been living in Asia for over 20 years, and she's leading a team of 10 uh, dedicated dedicated and high, highly experienced teams in our 10 destinations. So in Vietnam, we have Sui Oa. She's very professional. She's an adorable person. Um, she has a passion, of course, for travel, but also for culinary discoveries and yoga. Vietnam is definitely rooted in a tradition of uh, emperors and ancient myths. Um, in a colonial history, it offers a fascinating blend of uh, iconic landscapes from north south, mystic temples, charming cultures, and delicious food. It's the perfect uh, combination, the perfect package for any travelers looking for something a little different, the highest level of quality of services, operations, and products. So going through our experiences, uh, we are really proud to offer our guests a broad range of experiences. Each uh, Lux by EXO tour in Vietnam is carefully crafted to the specifications of guests to ensure that their perspective of this beautiful and mysterious nation is both authentic and inspiring, while also providing the special touches of exclusivity and and opulence that differentiates uh, travel from standard touring. We'll start by the capital city of Hanoi with this first experience, which is called Hanoi Landmark and uh, Local Touch. It's a combination of popular highlights, such as the famous One Kiem Lake, as you can see on the picture on the right side, um, where untouched corners of the city are explored. It enables those travelers to really feel the charm of the city in a different way. Every stop of the tour is an interesting example of either culture, cuisine, or the history of the the city um, and the guests can interact with friendly locals who are very eager to share some of their unique outlooks on life. The second experience in Hanoi is a home cooking class with a chef Hai. So the guests will take part in a hands-on cooking class with a charming Miss Hai, a renowned local chef. Uh, they would shop first for ingredients at the neighborhood Le wet market and step into the kitchen of Chef Hai family home. Uh, they would prepare and dine on the authentic North Vietnamese cuisine during a uh, small morning of a both culinary and cultural discovery. I really encourage any guest traveling in Vietnam to experience a cooking class. Um, that's one of the highlights of a trip, in my opinion, and this one is the perfect example for a luxury area. Then we have a walk with uh, an expert, Hanoi Heritage. Um, th so the guest will enjoy a heritage walk of three hours with a famous author of uh, Hanoi architecture. It will provide a different insight and a different experience of Hanoi through the city's rich architectural history. Um, they will go to the French colonial quarter and hidden corners that only the locals and insiders know about uh, to admire the beauty of French mansion. So that's a perfect twist to the classic city tour of Hanoi. And we have the insider's look into Hanoi's um, art scene. So this tour is specially led by a local art curator to get insights into the traditional and contemporary art scene in Hanoi. It's inspired by history and traditional Vietnamese art um, to admire creative art work by the young generation, by young artists, in using an innovative uh, application and to feel the impact of art on society. So it's a really fun way to discover art history of Hanoi through a twisted city tour. Then uh, we have this really special tour. Um, so Along Bay is one of the most iconic places in Vietnam, a very important mythical icon to locals and a must-see for visitors. And in this tour, you can explore this famous uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site in a very exclusive 
exclusive private cruise and a seaplane ride. Uh, so you would be served champagne and uh, tro uh, tropical fruits on a private yacht and on the cruise to discover the lesser known parts of Halong Bay for a truly unique experience like no other. Um, itineraries and services uh, on board are 100% private and they can be tailor-made to suit uh, your guests. Let's travel uh, south to central Vietnam with this experience in uh, Hue and pour our life through descendants uh, memory. Um, so you will get an exclusive insight into the legacy of the Nguyen dynasty from stories told from the royal family descendants themselves. Uh, guests will visit a private museum with a collection of everyday items that past kings have used and they would learn how royal descendants are keeping the family's traditions alive today. So it's an exclusive encounter to step into Hue's history in a different way. And it's the perfect combination to, um, to the citadel of Hue. We also have a private cocktail at, at a fine arts museum in Da Nang. So Da Nang is located in between Hue and Hoi An. Um, so this museum has one of the best art collection of the country, mostly on modern art, so including paintings, drawings, woodworks, etc. Um, and they would enjoy a private cocktail reception uh, and discussing with a senior member of the of the museum. We will go through the history of the museum, but also the artists, and to talk more about this uh, these pieces of art. We also have in Oyan um, a city tour, a bit uh, twisted again, uh, uh, quite uh, quite luxe and high hands. It's uh, Oyan through the eyes of a conservation expert. Um, so it's a great way, it's a walking tour, great way to visit the city and experience um, the charming atmosphere of this very special town, the city of Lanterns. Uh, and you will go through all the hidden corners of the city and discover how the local government and UNESCO are doing to protect the architecture and the history of this very special town. We have also another cooking class experience, this time at an organic farm in Oyan. So this farm is, uh, was established by an expert in, in nutrition with a passion for local produce. Um, so the guests would explore the farm in, uh, in Hoi An and pick the local ingredients directly from the organic garden. And the nutritionist would explain how to use these uh, ingredients, the herbs, the vegetables, the fruits in the local cuisine, but also in medicine uh, before starting the cooking class. Uh, so they will attend a private cooking demonstration with a traditional recipe before doing the cooking class themselves um, and enjoying the lunch in a beautiful setup directly in the farm. So it's a great experience to do, especially with kids. Then we have a bonding through essential oil in uh, Oyan still. It has been designed for a relaxing experience with a chance to understand your inner self uh, along with an aromatherapist uh, to learn all about uh, how natural essential oils affect the mind, body and spirit. So the guests will have a chance to mix their personal uh, essential oil completely tailor-made for their needs uh, in this peaceful uh, atmosphere. Now we go down south to Saigon, where I am now, uh, with this uh, experience called Retracing Saigon Pass with Vintage Cars. So because of its unique collection of historically significant architecture, Saigon is often called uh, the Pearl of Indochina. Its uh, buildings capture the long history from the first era of Saigon until today. Um, so guests will explore the city on board a vintage car with a renowned history expert who is eager to share details and anecdotes um, of the city's colorful uh, heritage. So it's a great way to discover the city with a very special touch. 
Then we have a cultural exchange and a home hostel uh, meal. Uh, so the guests would spend an evening to gain insight into the life of Vietnam's ambitious young generation who have moved from all over the country to Saigon to earn a living. Uh, they would indulge in a delicious home-cooked meal while sharing uh, interesting life stories of a cookbook author and street photographer in the welcoming atmosphere of his home. So this photographer will share his collection and about the daily, daily city life in, uh, in Saigon. Moving on to cruising options. So today I will introduce you three cruises in Halong Bay and three cruises in the lesser known Lanha Bay, which is in the same area, less touristy, less boats as for a more authentic and intimate experience. All the cruises I will introduce today are all deluxe, all five stars. So the first one in Halong Bay is Violet Cruise from Heritage Line. It's one boat of uh, six cabins. Um, they have two junior Violet Junior suits on the main deck and four cabins called Violet Imperial suits on the upper deck. So it's a very traditional style and ambience. The cabins are very spacious. Uh, the food is excellent. The, the service is really professional. All the rooms have a balcony and the itinerary includes a traditional floating village, a very authentic one. Uh, there are many floating villages in Halong Bay. Uh, most of them are not as authentic as before and most of the villagers are actually living uh, on the mainland and they will travel every day to the floating villages. But Kwaban is one of the most authentic one. And there is also a cave visit and Titop Island visit. The second cruise I would like to introduce uh, is Paradise Peak, um, one boat of eight cabins. Um, so it's a very nice and elegant decor, highly selected furniture, balcony at all the cabins. Uh, there's also a butler service available. And I would not suggest to book the junior suit, we, which are the, the, first, uh, the first cabins due to the fact that the balcony are at the back uh, of the cruise and the design is a bit less nice than uh, the other the other suit. So I would definitely recommend to opt for the superior suit or the premium suit. They are both 40, 42 square meters. And the last cruise on Halong Bay is Hera Cruise. It's one boat of 11 cabins. Um, very nice concept and decor, a uh, luxury boutique cruise. All the food and pastries are from famous branch with high quality. The itinerary covers Halong Bay and a small part of Bai Tulong Bay, which is away from touristy area. There's also a butler service available and they have a complimentary English tea break in the afternoon. Then let's move to Lanha Bay with the first cruise called Indochine Cruise from Indochina Sales. Uh, it's one boat of 43 cabins, so a bigger size than the previous ones. Um, it's a very characteristic and detailed in design cruise and decoration with Indochina touch, as you can see uh, from the picture of the bedroom. The cabins are also very large. Um, they allow for setting up an extra bed from the first, uh, the first cabin. Um, there are many public spaces, a restaurant, sand deck, a lounge. There is also a great private lounge, uh, very convenient for families. The second cruise is called Ilang. Uh, it's one boat of 10 cabins. It has been recently launched in August this year. Uh, it's very characteristic, very detailed in design and decoration. Each cabin is decorated with a seasonal flower theme. So we have the Lotus cabin, we have the Sakura cabin. Um, the cruise uh, theme is around wellness. So all the meals are uh, calculated with the perfect nutrition in each food portion. So it's very wellness oriented. They have an amazing sand deck pool and jacuzzi. Uh, it's a very cozy and elegant atmosphere. And they have for any guests doing the cruise, complimentary tea testing, a singing bowl ceremony, um, which can be combined with meditation and a free um, 30 minutes massage in your room. 
And the last cruise on Lanaha Bay is Ginger Cruise, uh, one boat of 12 cabins. Uh, very characteristic and, uh, and detailed also in the design and in the decoration. They have one pair of connecting cabins, so great for families. Uh, they have an amazing live cooking performance, uh, a great sun deck, pool and jacuzzi, as you can see on the picture, and a very cozy and uh, elegant atmosphere. Now let's move on to the high-end properties. So I selected today the finest hotels in Vietnam uh, to, to show you all the exclusive access to the most uh, to the most illustrious rooms and suites available to ensure that your guests receive the utmost comfort and, uh, and care. So we'll start again by Hanoi with uh, the iconic Sofitel Legend Metropole, um, beautiful and elegant property with a classic style, uh, history and French colonial architecture, uh, very historic property uh, in a central location only two minutes away from the Opera House. Many celebrities and politicians have stayed there and I would definitely recommend to choose the old wing for your guest, which has more charm to my opinion compared to the new wing, which is more modern and contemporary. Um, so I would yeah, definitely suggest to, to book in the old wing for more character and exclusivity. Then we have the Intercontinental West Lake, uh, located uh, by its name on the West Lake, which is the biggest lake of, uh, of Hanoi. Uh, it has a more contemporary style, very spacious rooms, an outdoor swimming pool, and more of a resort type vibe uh, due to its special lakefront location. The rooms are either um, hotel style in the main building, but I would recommend the pavilions over the West Lake that you can see on the picture on the top left. Uh, that's the, the perfect uh, spot for, for sunset over the lake. And all the rooms have their own balcony. Another special hotel in Hanoi is Hotel de l'Opera by M Gallery. It has a stunning style, excellent central location, also nearby the Opera House. It's a real exotic oasis, a booting feeling property. They have an indoor swimming pool, um, opulent room designs with bold theatrical touches and very high pets. So a very um, art deco style. Okay, let's go a bit more north. Um, I have only one hotel, only one uh, luxury hotel to introduce you in Sapa, uh, which is Hotel de la Coupole. It has been designed by Bill Bensley, the famous architect who designed most of the most beautiful hotels in the world. So it, this hotel is settled in the heart of uh, Sapa town. It's designed with an air of nostalgia of the French Indochine era. Hotels offers uh, luxurious uh, rooms and suites with a signature decor. Uh, this is the first, the very first chic international hotel in Sapa. Um, and the architecture and decoration fuse high fashion glamour with a colorful hill trap style. It's a great combination and it's a great place to explore the surroundings of Sapa. Okay, let's go to central Vietnam now in uh, Hue with Azerai La Residence. La Residence has been uh, carefully restored to make way for luxurious uh, boutique hotel. It's an extravagant property located centrally on the banks of the Perfume River, uh, only 17 kilometers from the airport, so very convenient access for international travelers. Uh, this heritage boutique resort was formerly the residence of the French governor in Hue. The style remains colonial in Oshin with a strong art decor influence. Uh, it has a large outdoor swimming pool nearby the river, uh, an intimate atmosphere, um, charming style, luxury service and contemporary facilities, including a fine dining restaurant and an award winning spa. The second property in Hue I would like to introduce is the uh, ancient Hue uh, Garden House. So it's an elegant hideaway retreat of uh, five ancient typical imperial garden houses located in Kim Long Village near Hue's Imperial Citadel. 
Uh, it's an ideal getaway to the city's magic, uh, journey into Hue's authentic Mandarin residential area and lifestyle where tradition, poetry and spirits have been uh, preserved. Uh, it's a very peaceful location and a unique concept in Hue. Then we have the Four Seasons Resort, the Namahai. Uh, it's located on a private one kilometer stretch of, uh, of a beach called uh, Hami. Uh, it has been hailed by uh, Forbes as one of the best beaches in the world. Uh, the resort is reborn under Four Seasons as a beacon of beauty that reflects the, the soul of Vietnam's cultural uh, heartlands. It's a top deluxe uh, level hotel that remains uh, as one of the highest caliber properties in, uh, in Vietnam. So it's a great combination to be nearby the beach but close to Hoi An as well. Okay, let's travel a bit south again, down the coast in uh, Nha Trang with the Six Senses Ninh Van Bay, uh, stunning hotel in, uh, in, uh, located in uh, Ninh Van Bay uh, with its uh, impressive rock formations and small sandy coves uh, to the front and forested mountains to the rear of the, of the resort. The guest villas are nestled uh, in amongst the, the rocks, mountain and forest. It's a super deluxe resort, accessible only by, by boat, so very exclusive, uh, very comfortable and stylish. The resort truly embodies the rustic, barefoot, luxury, chic vibe and takes uh, full advantage of its dramatic location. The Anam Resort in, uh, in Kamran, uh, it's located just south of Nha Chang. Uh, so this resort owns an utterly beautiful long stretch beach uh, surrounded by hills. It's a lesser known coastal corner uh, that makes it a good choice for those looking for turquoise water, uh, unspoiled white sand and shady coconut palms. The Anam is located just 20 minutes from uh, Kamran International Airport and only 30 minutes from uh, Nha Trang City. Down the coast again in Phan Rang with uh, Amanoi Vinki. It's uh, on the dramatic uh, coastline of, uh, of this national park, one of the country's largest natural conservation sites uh, in pristine jungle of the national park, overlooking uh, into crystal clear water of uh, Vin Vinhi Bay. Amanoi is featured as the top address of Vietnam's south central coast. Uh, this luxury resort uh, provides a variety of activities from hiking, water sports uh, to cultural experiences or you can simply relax with a, with a spa uh, and wellness service or um, enjoy a romantic candlelit dinner, so perfect location for honeymooners and, and couples. Down south, south again in Saigon with uh, the Reverie. It's located in the central business district of uh, Ho Chi Minh City, one of the most venerated area uh, of this uh, thriving uh, modern city. It's close to the city hall, Bentran Market and the other touristy attractions. Uh, so fabulous location and a bold Italian inspired opulent design and unbeatable panoramic views. So some will like the design, some won't, but it's a very unique hotel in town. Park Ayat is another very exclusive hotel, uh, still the top address in Saigon. Um, it's located also in District 1, so very centrally and close to the Ho Chi Minh Hall, Ho Chi Minh City Museum, the Saigon Notre Dame uh, Basilica. It underwent total renovation in 2015 and now has a brand new feel with a French elegant look. Hotel des Arts, uh, it's an end gallery collection um, located in the city centre, which takes you only a few minutes to reach again the main touristic attractions. It provides 168 elegant rooms and lavish studio suites 
that fuse the flair of French design with the elegance of, uh, of Indochina. Uh, custom design furniture created by a prestigious uh, Vietnamese artisan, muted fabrics and luxurious bedding create a warm and inviting ambience. It's to me the best, uh, the, the best boutique hotel in, uh, in Saigon and the rooftop pool and bar have one of the best panoramic views on the, on the city, so very appreciated. Now we move to Mekong Delta with um, Azerai Kanto Resort. It's built on its own islet with uh, lakes, waterways and mangroves uh, in Hall River. Uh, it's only about one kilometer to access the city center and about 10 kilometers to the airport. Um, the design is inspired by traditional architecture and achieved through a contemporary interpretation. The resort really provides a relaxing atmosphere and a wellness package for your guests. It offers a wide range of activities with a big infinity pool, cafe and bar, riverfront tennis courts, bespoke product spa, and enhanced wellness. Uh, guest rooms are very spacious, neutral in tone, uh, embracing the use of local materials and all surrounded by a tropical garden. Then down to the island of Fukuok, one of the most uh, popular um, and exclusive destinations for a beach break. Uh, so Fusion Resort is remotely located uh, it's really uh, the kind of place where you want to disconnect, when you want to switch off and just put the rest of the world on hold for a few days. Um, it offers a relaxing hideout with a private pools and secluded uh, gardens outside of each villa, plus a stunning beach and riverfront views. Um, they have the concept of breakfast anywhere, anytime. So if you want to have your breakfast at 4 p.m. nearby your private pool or in your room or nearby the, the river, you can. And they also have a premium spa facility offering Fusion's unique all spa inclusive service. Another Bill Bensley uh, design hotel in Fukuok is GW Marriott, located at one of the most pristine beaches of Fukuok called uh, Bai Kem. Uh, it's a hidden game off of uh, Vietnam's south coast. Uh, being away from bustling downtown, the resort uh, offers exceptional tranquility and an exclusive uh, privacy for luxury guests. Um, it's a luxury resort with a pristine beachfront and jungle, jungle backdrop uh, offering uh, luxurious facilities with a touch from, uh, from the famous architect. So again, some might like it, some, some won't, but it's still an exclusive property in Fukuok. Then we have La Veranda Resort, um, a member of the M Gallery collection. Um, it boasts a style of reminiscence of a French seaside mansion. It's set in a tropical gardens on a beautiful stretch of beach, um, luxury resort and boutique hotel and spa, both large terraces with a sweeping views, ideal for honeymooners, for a spa vacation or for family holidays. And the last property I would like to introduce is on Kondao Islands. Uh, so Six Senses is located on the beach in uh, Konson within Kondao National Park. It's the only super deluxe property on Kondao Islands. This uh, old villa luxury resort is located on its own private stretch of breathtaking beach. It's ideal for families with a contemporary villas ranging in size from one to five bedrooms most with either ocean views or direct beach access and all have private pools. Okay, now I would like to introduce you some dining options in Hanoi, Central Vietnam and Saigon. So in Hanoi, we have quite a good selection of uh, high end uh, restaurants. Uh, I would focus on Koge, that's the picture on the top left. Um, it's located on the uh, Hoan Kiem Lake, 
so the most popular lake in uh, in Hanoi, uh, on a rooftop, so one of the best views in uh, in Hanoi, and you can enjoy some very high-end uh, Vietnamese cuisine there. And the other options I would recommend are La Badian or La Vertical uh, for an Indochina touch and fusion cuisine, mixing um, traditional Vietnamese recipes with Western ingredients or tastes. In central Vietnam, we have the Ben Xuan Garden House. It's a Hue royal architecture style. It's located of the, on the most beautiful site of the Perfume River. And you can experience uh, Vietnamese culinary art with a French touch. And we have some other options in, in central Vietnam too. Where to dine in Saigon? There are plenty of options and new restaurants opening every year. Um, I would focus mostly on Noir and Blanc uh, restaurants, uh, which are um, responsible restaurants. Uh, Noir is actually handled by blind people, so you will dine completely in the darkness. Uh, so it's a very different culinary experience. And Blanc is located in the same uh, colonial villa. It's uh, handled by a team of deaf and hearing impaired staff. So you would communicate with them by sign language during all the dinner. Um, so it's a beautiful, both are beautiful and touching culinary experiences where communication takes a new form and that's truly a unique, unique dining experience. About transportation, so we have selected some unique modes of transportation to ensure uh, supreme comfort to your guests, uh, traveling time with uh, vintage cars, privileged access, uh, private and telemate journeys to really enhance the travel experience. So for instance, we have some lux vehicles options that you can choose, uh, BMW, Mercedes, Audi that you can choose throughout the country. We also have, as I said, vintage cars uh, for uh, travel back in time. You can choose it either for an evening, for a day trip. Um, so that's a very special way to explore a city. We also have helicopter uh, from Hanoi to Halong Bay um, to get the best of the panoramic views of, uh, on the iconic Halong Bay. We also have some private uh, yacht options, whether in uh, Halong Bay, Nha Chang, on the beach, coast, in Saigon. Um, the overnight is available too, or for a day trip, can be either for uh, cruising, for a romantic dinner, for island hopping and sloconing, or a special uh, occasion like a wedding anniversary. All the itineraries and options are board, on board are completely private and completely tailor-made for your guests. So we can really arrange the type of cuisine they want, the flower decoration with their favorite uh, flowers, uh, butler on boards and every kind of um, private and exclusive services. We can also offer a seaplane experience um, to Halong Bay. So it's a one hour flight. Uh, to get again the best uh, the best view on the bay and very private and exclusive access to to the cruise on the bay and then we have um, two sets of private jets available uh, the first one from six senses so it's the first resort to launch a private air service to Kandao Islands um, they have two jets, uh, private jets, uh, eight seats and 13 seats, and it ensures exclusive checking, express security clearance, and a chauffeured access to their private aircrafts. And the second one is operated by Amanoi. Um, so it's one of the world's most luxurious and spacious personal aircraft with uh, 12 seats. So by anticipating uh, our guest needs and catering each element of a tour to their request and their specifications, uh, we can deliver uh, levels of attention to detail. 
so we have a wide range of welcome gifts available for all the budgets, all the type of uh, clients, um, even for kids. And we are mostly working with local uh, NGOs and associations to support local communities and to give back. So we can definitely tailor made any welcome gifts or even gifts um, uh, on the turn down service uh, every every evening. Uh, we can definitely send you a list of recommended gifts uh, that you can choose for your guests. So I would like to remind you that uh, you can find all these informations on the agent hub with your private ID and password, um, where you will be able to find all our products, all our tariffs. You can access uh, some pictures, some useful information, the upcoming webinars, all the useful information, all the product and tariffs are in there. So make sure you visit, you connect, and you access this great uh, database. So this webinar is now finished. I thank you very much for your attention and for being here today. I would like to also announce that the next webinar will be on the 12th of December. It will be my colleague from Exo Travel Malaysia, Jane Rowan, the product manager, who will introduce what's new in Malaysia for 2020. Thank you very much for your attention. And